Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to do another spooky reaction video this time. It's to Mind Junkie. I haven't watched one of those for a while. Let's give it a view. Uh, this one's eight scary videos that need explaining. Let's hope there's some creepy stuff. Make sure you pop by Mind Junkie's channel, drop him a sub. And the link is in the description. So if you wouldn't mind doing that, I'd be very grateful. Uh, sub to my channel, hit the thumbs up on the video. Ring the bell for alerts of new videos and live streams. If you want to discuss this or any of my other videos, pop by a live stream. I'll leave your feedback in the comments and I'll get back to you. It's nice to generate a bit of a discussion. That's sort of where I do it for. I've enjoyed believing in the paranormal pretty much all my life. And it's something I want to share with other people, hence why I'm doing these videos. Um, yeah, so let's get the cans on, give it a watch, and let's hope it's a good one, shall we? The first creepy clips in this week's scary video were uploaded by a man living in Jamaica who claims to have caught something paranormal on camera. According to him, the house next door has been empty for some time, but the past few nights he has seen something very creepy on the other side of his backyard fence. Mm -hmm. It happens every single night and he soon begins to feel frustrated and desperate for answers. So Every night. The next time the sun goes down, he grabs his phone, heads out back, and hits record. Every night, I just go and stand up. What the fuck? I was and expecting that. I say, hey. I was genuinely not expecting that. Fucking hell. All I say, woman. Hey. Hey. Would you stand up, Mr. Far? Hey. Every night, this woman comes in the bright, this one don't want to move. Woman, move. Every flipping night, move. <laughs> a creepy figure of what looks like a woman stands <laughs> completely still on the other side of the uploader's fence. Even as the man taps on the fence and pleads with the figure to move, the eyes give it away. He Would just you? stands there, not moving an inch. A few days later, the man up. I was half expecting that to actually move, like a puppet thing or something, but I don't know what that jump scare thing was all about, dickhead. Loads another clip. This time, he shows the same spot on the other side of the fence during the day, but this time, there is nothing there. So I'm going right here in the show, showing you guys that this thing is not here during the day. Look, it's not. Same spot, same everything. We can't go over the people in house, but, but, it's the same spot. Same spot, same everything. This thing is not there during the day. Now, viewers of this clip are skeptical. The man says that the property where this creepy figure keeps appearing on is abandoned. So he and several viewers believe it's something sinister. Although some just think it's a mannequin or a scarecrow placed there by someone wanting to creep him their f out. <laughs> but what do you think is going on here? Let me know down below. If you're a I don't know if it was my junkie that put that jump scare in there or what, but fucking hell man, what a dick. Fan of scary videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. They are quite entertaining. The next creepy video was uploaded to social media by Not Many LE, who claims to have been experiencing something downright terrifying. Details about this clip are sparse, but here's what I was able to find out. The man recently inherited an ornamental doll from his late grandmother, a doll that's now at the center of a series of disturbing events. According to him, his home had always been a place of peace and quiet until the doll arrived. Since then, he's witnessed objects inexplicably falling off shelves, heard eerie whispers echoing through the rooms, and even noticed shadowy figures in the corner of his eye. Com if it's that doll, I'm sure my sister had pretty much exactly the same one. My dad brought it back from Japan when we were kids, I'm sure. 
It looked very, very similar to that. Convinced that the doll is cursed, he decides to document the next time something strange occurs. It came in a glass day, case like that. He captures this. The fuck? Whoa. There's not many Elias inspecting the doll. He hears something behind him. And when he turns, something can be pressed against the curtain. But when he pulls the curtain back, there's nothing there. Whoever it's like bloody Gollum. Or whatever it was, has mysteriously disappeared. But the horror doesn't end there. On another day, while not many Ellie is there could have been a clever cutting amongst that with the curtain, but... He's relaxing at home, he hears something in his living room. He goes to check and encounters this. Hey. Hi. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Putting karate kicking it. Mike. Go, go, Mike, Mike, Mike. Whatever appeared the day before appears again pressed against the curtain. Not many LE does exactly what cast. That's a bit odd how you cannot really see the much of the rest of it, just the hands. Like it would do and full on round well, like But whatever was just the head there shit. again disappears. Convinced this is something demonic and attached to the doll. Not many LE uploads the video to social media and viewers were creeped out by these clips. And just like not many Ellie, they believe he is being haunted by a sinister entity. But what are your thoughts? Let me know. He practically touched it in that first one there. I don't know. That, that's a bit sus like, but it, it is an entity. I like the whole bloody kicking through the bloody curtain. That was class. <laughs> a young man from the US this. was home alone late one night while his mother was working late he wasn't sure why but all night he had been feeling a growing sense of unease he decides to invite some friends over hoping that by having some company he'd feel safer at first everything seems normal just a typical night of hanging out with friends but then out of nowhere a sound echoes through the house that sets them all on edge Okay, make sure you lock the doors in. Um, I'm going to come home. I should be home in about 10 minutes. I need you to stay calm though, okay? Okay, alright. So calm, quiet, keep the door locked. Alright, do not go out of the room whatsoever. When his mother finally arrives home, she finds him and his friends freaking out, convinced that someone or something had broken in while they were alone. Just to be safe, the four of them decide to call the police, who arrive promptly and conduct a thorough search of the house. But after combing every room and questioning the terrified teens, the police find nothing. No signs of forced entry, no evidence of an intruder, just an empty house. Or is it? Did it sound glass? Was it metal? What, what did it sound like? I think it was just like a, a big thud and then, and then like glass shattering, but after that we we just stay upstairs. Because you heard glass shatter. Yeah, yeah. Did you didn't see it? No, we, we stayed. The group of friends try to convince themselves that it was all just a false alarm, but then they decide to review the footage they had captured while investigating the noise, and what they see left them terrified. All right, I'll see you soon. I love you. Uh, I love you too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. What we're looking at here at the bong, what we're looking at. Was that light meant to be like that? A door open as well.
Did you spot it? Watch closely. While reviewing the footage, something can be seen moving upstairs and everyone swears that no one was there at the time this was captured. And if we slow it down, we can definitely see that something is there. But what's your verdict I was looking, on this video? Was it par- I was looking down here at the windows and doors and stuff. I didn't realize it. Paranormal? Or is there another explanation? Share your thoughts in the comments. That's pretty creepy, but there was a lot of, I don't know. Obviously, if there's so, if the said the herd broken glass, you think they would have had a proper look around to see if there was anything. One of the doors looked open, and I don't know if that light was meant to be at a funny angle or if it had been knocked. It was creepy. What do you guys think? This next ghost video was uploaded by photographer and ghost hunter, Phil Kosh. In the clip, Bill and his son conduct a paranormal investigation in the attic of a haunted house. The house is said to be incredibly haunted, and the owners have reported several unexplainable phenomena, particularly up in the attic. Muffled voices have been heard, footsteps would wake them in the night. But when the owners would go up to investigate, they felt the temperature drop to freezing levels, but never found anyone or anything up there. Phil and his son visit the property and set up their equipment in the attic, including night vision cameras, and what they capture has left viewers spooked. I think we've seen this one before a while back, but it, it was quite intriguing to be fair, so we'll play through again as a reminder. We're up in the floor. Mm -hmm. So... 56? Seven? Seven? Seventy? Well, it's like 12.30. And uh, I think that it was about an hour since we heard those footsteps coming through here, but I don't know what that was from. What's our average temperature? It's about 37, 38. That's why I'm cold. And I'm getting like a point two all the way through the room. Wait, it's going to 45. There's what? 50. Oh, I got a 50. I got a reading here. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. 45. There's 50. Oh, I got a 50. I got a reading here. Oh, oh, as Phil and his son watch the temperature drop alarmingly, a chair in front of them suddenly moves, mysteriously all on its own. Terrified, Phil and his son flee the attic, but the horror doesn't end there. When Phil re- so It was quite intriguing, and the way the chair moved away from them, sort of, I don't know, it makes it that a little bit more believable viewed their footage back he discovered something which creeped them the heck out something they were completely unaware of during their paranormal investigation listen closely Seven. Seventy. the voice of what sounds like a small boy can be heard whispering i want to go outside Seven. Seven. with this new evidence caught on camera Phil is convinced this family's house is haunted. He now believes that the EVP or electronic voice phenomena they captured belongs to the ghost of a child. Phil Kosh titled this video as Ghost Attic Investigation and viewers believe he caught evidence of a ghost up there. But what do you think? Is the ghost of a small boy haunting the attic of this family home? Comment and let me know. Seven. Yeah, that was supposedly 15 years ago, and the quality is better than most of the shit we see now. It's mad. But um, <clears throat> it was quite creepy. Um, with regards to the voice, I'm normally a bit sceptical about what people hear the words as in a lot of these cases, but that one did seem a bit more clear than others. What do you guys make of that? that that's pretty creepy, to be fair. I'm pleased we'll watch that one again. Shannon the Theatre Ghost. Lacey Nicole, a high school theatre teacher living in Florida, recently posted a clip that, though captured many years ago, has resurfaced and is now causing a stir amongst paranormal enthusiasts on social media. The video she uploaded shows an old recording of a high school production of Beauty and the Beast. At first, it's just 
that a high school play. However, during the performance, as the lights dim, something appears, which leaves audience members and viewers of recent times shocked. Suspended high above the stage, the figure of what appears to be a woman flashes into view, but Lacey insists that this wasn't just a trick of the light. Lacey reveals that this isn't the first time the ghostly figure has made an appearance in the theatre. In fact, regular theatre goers have become eerily accustomed to her presence, giving her the name Shannon. At first, some of Lacey's viewers were sceptical, but their doubts began to waver when they heard the genuine fear in the gasps of the audience members when Shannon appears. So what do you make of this creepy footage? Did a ghost by the name of Shannon appear mid-play? Was it all part of the performance? Comment below. See, I, I figured it was part of the show because isn't it at that point where the beast rises up and turns into the man or whatever? Um, but that is quite creepy. I would like to believe in stuff like this, to be honest. This is where I fall. Uh, like old spirits appearing in old buildings and making themselves known. I would like to believe. Hello, and let me know. It could just be flash lights and curtains, that, but. This next. It would have been nice to have got other footage of other sightings of it, to be fair, but it, it was intriguing, that one. I do like that one. Creepy clip was uploaded to social media by Tony Lowry. One morning, as Tony's young son was getting ready for school, Tony's security camera captured something which has made her believe her house might be haunted. Here's what Tony's security camera caught. Did you hear it? A disembodied voice can be heard saying, how did you find me? And Tony's son drops his plate and runs to find his mother. After checking the camera footage, Tony was shocked to hear it too. Then, a few days later, Tony was chatting to a neighbour who lived in the area for decades, and they mentioned that a previous owner had passed away in that house over 20 years ago. Tony believes that the voice her son heard, and what was captured on the camera's audio, could be something paranormal. But what do you think? Possibly. I don't know. Some of them I'm very sceptical about. Again, the story would have been more intriguing if they'd been locked in a room for so long or whatever, or found buried in, under the floorboards or something for them to come out with that sentence. But... Yeah, I'm, I'm. The reaction seemed quite legit, to be fair. What do you guys think? And the hot man again. This next mysterious clip was uploaded Is by this the one we've adventurers seen? who was walking home late one night when she noticed Maybe something not. out the corner of her eye. De que está cerrada la Baby Queen, güey. A ver si es construcción. Cállate. Y hay un señor allá adentro. Qué chingados haces ahí, señor? ¿Qué haces ahí? Es un señor con sombrero. Ya no se ve, pero sí se. No. Ah, no, sí está. Sí está. Ay, ay. That music, man. Un bailador no se va a vestir como si fuera, no sé, turista o acapulqueño. No se va a vestir. Como la muerte. A mysterious dark figure with a hat can be seen sitting at a table by the window. A couple of steps further, the figure is no longer gone, there. After uploading this clip to her social media account, viewers were creeped out, with many saying that this creeped. figure looks like the infamous Hatman shadow figure. The hat man is often described as a tall, shadowy figure wearing a wide-brimmed hat. 
known for appearing during episodes of sleep paralysis or in moments of intense fear. Some believe that the Hat Man isn't just a passive observer, but a sinister entity that stalks its victims, feeding off their fear and returning time and again to haunt them. But what do you think? Is the Hat Man after Daniela? Let me know in the comments. That's pretty good as well, that one, to be fair. The weird sort of disappeared when they turned around a touch. Creepy. Whether it's the hat man, I don't know, but it, it was definitely something. What do you think? The Devil's Tromping Ground. Paranormal investigator Kevin the Custodian Ghost Hunter uploaded this video and titled it as Ghost Caught on Camera. The Devil's Tramping Ground, North Carolina, and viewers agree that he did indeed catch a ghost on camera. While venturing into an incredibly haunted location known as the Devil's Tramping Ground, a clearing resembling a large circular mark on the land where nothing seems to grow. And according to local legend, the Devil paces in circles around this clearing at night. Kevin and his friends step inside the circle and accidentally capture this. Four had to get out here in a hurry. Caught on is camera, a behind? ghostly figure can be seen in the yeah. background, but who or what is it? Kevin says in the description of this video that they had no idea that this happened until they watched the video and believe that they caught a ghost on camera. Viewers too believe that whatever this is, is likely a ghost. But what's your verdict? Did Kevin the Custodian Ghost Hunter accidentally catch a ghost on camera after stepping inside the Devil's Tramping Ground? You tell me. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, please pop by Mind Junkies' channel and drop him a sub. He is entertaining. That jump scare, man. What a bastard. <laughs> uh, good stuff. Um... Yeah, what did you make of that? And there was some funny stuff, but there was some decent stuff in there as well, to be fair. Um, it was nice to be entertained whilst a bit freaked out at the same time. Let us know what you think. If you wouldn't mind, as I said at the beginning, dropping us a sub, hitting the thumbs up, ringing the bell for alerts of new videos and live streams. And if you want to discuss this or any of the other videos, just add comments. I always get back to people. And if... If you see us go live, come by and went and have a chat. I'd be very grateful for that. That's where it's all about. Um social side of things. I just want to have a chat with people about things I've got an interest in. But yeah, we're gonna do my best to keep things back on track and get regular videos out. And again, I just want to say I'm very grateful to we all. Do appreciate us coming by, watching the videos and having a chat. That's what it's all about. In the meantime, have a good one guys. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.